Hi, Brad from bradsautoglass.com and Backglass Slider on eBay. We've been making patch panels for pickup trucks for about a year now and we've had tremendous success and a lot of feedback from our customers. Some of the feedback has been very positive and that's the reason for this new video is to show you some of the techniques that our customers have shown to us. So I'm going to show you on a Toyota Tacoma sliding rear window which I have the cab cut out and setting here on these sawhorses in the shop. And what you would typically find in your truck is a broken window with shards of broken glass around the outside. And the first thing you want to do is you should be wearing leather gloves and have safety glasses on. And take a pair of pliers and you want to knock the loose glass off around the edge so that it's not protruding into the cab. And the glass comes off fairly easy. I've prepped most of this, so all I got to do is just finish this last little bit here. And you can see what I'm doing. It doesn't require any special training. I just knock the edge off and it's ready to go. Now over here on the side, the glass that's left here, and this is the same on the F-150 and some of the other trucks, it's part of this piece and this piece wants to move around. So we want to leave that there because we're going to cement to that. Now after having broke that glass off like that, I want to take a piece of paper towel and get in here and wipe off any heavy dirt that may be there. And I've pre-prepped this, so I'm going to brush this clean. And then in the kit that we provide on eBay, Separately, it uh, we can't combine the shipping because of the dimensions of the box. Is this little activator pad, which activates the glass? You take break the glass bulb inside, turn it over. It gets wet. You can go around here, and you can activate this glass for a good solid mod. Now, after I get this all activated, the piece that you've purchased, we're going to take and do the same thing with it. We're going to activate the outside edge, just like that, and that's done. Now, after this has had time to dry, or before, you want to test fit your part to see how it's going to fit in. And as you can see, I've got this perfectly made so that it fits down right inside the window and lines up with the encapsulation and fits nicely. But the trick is, is we want to get the bond on here with the urethane and then we want to hold it together while it dries so we don't get any unevenness. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get our urethane which the urethane that comes separately and is sold on eBay, you get this tube with a tip and two blocks of wood. And I'll show you what these are for in just a minute. These are going to help you get the, the uh, installation a little better. If you don't buy this from us on eBay, you can go to an auto parts store and you can buy a product from 3M. And the 3M product is 08609. They sell it almost everywhere. I'm surprised how many people do carry it. So the, one of the tricks to the urethane, and this is really important, is you have to preheat it. This has been over in front of my heater, because if you don't heat it, the urethane is very firm and very viscous, and the window won't lay down flat on the glass. And it's really important that it fit as flush as possible to give us a nice look. So I'm going to run this out and pay attention to how I'm doing this. There's a little gap there I got to fill. And we're running, pushing it into the inside of the window. And if you're in the truck, you'd be standing up and coming across here and doing the same thing. And just a nice small bead, more is not better, and bring this all the way around. Just 
just like I've done there. And then over here, we don't have enough to get a hold of in some spots, so I'm just going to leave that, and we'll come back, and I'll flip this over, and I'll show you how we're going to do that, finish that from the back side. Now, with that done, I'm going to take it, I'm going to set down in this corner, and follow it in, and press this down into that ear thing. Oops, I got some on my hand. You don't want to do that if you can help it. If you do, the best thing to clean it up is break clean. Now with these two clamps, I'm going to take and go into the upper part of the window here. I'm going to clamp that. And I'm going to clamp that. And those clamps are going to draw that window down really, really nice. All right, before we went to break, I stopped and I looked at something that happened. And when I put the tape on the window, I pulled the window over. So if I had that problem, there's a chance you might have that problem. So I backed up and I got the window lining up really nice on this side over here. I got the clamps in place. Everything looks good. But I still need to be able to hold these corners down. So you need to be able to put duct tape or painter's tape on before you put the duct tape on. And make sure that when you put this tape on that you don't pull the window over. So, just put the tape on, push down, and don't pull it because you might pull the window over. We don't want to lose that gap over there. So putting this piece on, come over to the edge, push the edge down, and push the tape down. And leave it like that. Then take the boards that come in the kit and you're going to put a piece of duct tape instead of this blue painter's tape which is all I have left and uh, you're going to bring and tape down about six inches and then you're going to want to push pull this to where it's snug, push down on it, push down real good and then pull that tape around the corner and that's going to create that down, downward force we're looking for to hold that window in place. Same thing over in this corner. Put our duct tape on here. Come over that piece of wood. Push that piece of wood down. Pull that down and get it tight. That for duct tape that wouldn't come loose. That's why I want you to use duct tape. And once you get it like this, you're going to need to, once you get this taped in and everything's lined up, you're going to need to let the truck set for a minimum of four hours. I prefer that it's set overnight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to finish the inside so that the rough edges of the glass aren't exposed and we seal off this side over here. So when we come back to you, I'll show you how we do that. I'm going to let this dry up so that I can finish up. Thanks. All right. Uh, the urethane has had time to dry. It's been about four and a half, five hours in my heated garage and I've removed the tape and the stuff and it's in here nicely. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. There is a little bit of urethane that's squeezed out around the side so I can take a razor blade and go along here and free it up from the glass and it gives me these little strings and it, the urethane doesn't stick to the outside rubber very well. So you can kind of trim the edge like I'm doing there of the urethane then get in there with your fingernails or you can use a plastic stick see how that comes out and that cleans it up makes it look real nice now the next thing we need to do is we didn't do anything with this edge on this particular window not all the windows will be like this some of them you'll be able to put a bead of urethane and bond this in but on this particular one not so and if that's the case do it this way because that way you can see what I'm doing instead of working inside the cab of a truck. Yeah. All right, so just before we flip this over, this crack is open here and I don't want the urethane to come out. So I'm going to put a piece of tape on it because we're going to apply urethane to the inside. I'm going to press this down real nice. And then I'm going to turn the window over. Sorry about stepping in front of the camera. 
and set it here in the opening so you can see it. And now we want to seal this edge along here. It's going to do a couple of things. It's going to bond this together, bond the glass, prevent leaks. It's also going to cover up this broken glass and, and take some of the danger out of that being exposed. Now, if this had a center sliding window still in this, I would have it closed at this time because that way it's holding it in the correct position. So, with our urethane that we use to install, I'm going to take I'm going to cut a bigger optional hole there, and that'll allow me to take and run a bead right up along here. You want to take your time and do a real nice job here to get pretty much one shot at it. Now there's always a temptation to think that you're caulking a bathtub and wanting to come back and smear this all nice and smooth with your finger. I don't recommend you do that. Lay down a nice bead. Now if you have the temptation to want to do that, uh, to smooth that out, um, wear rubber gloves or something and be very careful so you don't cut yourself. Now one other thing I want to do is I want to be careful and keep the, there's a track here, I don't want to get any urethane in that track. I just want to run a bead right along the bottom of that old broken glass so that we got some urethane or it. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this. This is a work truck and you're not worried about passengers or anything or anybody getting back there, I wouldn't bother with this. But this is the seal on the next yeah, job. Really. Sorry. Mm -hmm. This will also add some strength and, and water sealant. Still not necessary. But this is covering up the shards of broken glass and giving it a real nice look. And there it is. And that is the finished product. So, when you receive your piece, there's going to be... Up on me. So when you receive your part, there's going to be a warning label on the outside. This is just kind of a reminder, and I want to remind you and take the time to do that again now, is... Um, Make sure you test fit the part and that you've got the right part that it's going to fit. Make sure you've got urethane. Make sure the urethane is heated so that it's warm and, and squish. Um, kind of follow what the procedures that I did. Make sure you use primer if it's not primerless. Um, the 3M window weld is primerless, so you don't need the primer, but with the stuff we sell, you do. And then there's always going to be the people who are going to tell you, that the window cannot be replaced and the part won't work and they're going to have all these excuses why they can't put this part in. You can do it yourself. I've just shown you how to do it. I have other videos on my site that you can look at as well to help you and I'm always available by phone 866-427-2775. So just call me if you run into any snags or if you have any problems with your glass installer. Thanks. Brad. Brad's Autoglass.com